my gosh. It is a beautiful afternoon here Wednesday, the 9th of May, 2018. We, we are here at WBCW Networks in Central Florida, in downtown Orlando. It's hot. It's warm. It's beach day weather. I'm telling you what, why don't we just go ahead and fire it off. Get this thing ready. We got a lot to talk about today. Here you go. A little bit of low cash for you to kick off. Here comes summer, baby. Yeah, a little bit of low cash there for you. Here comes summer. I'm telling you, summer is just right around the corner, folks. And um, it's going to be a hot one this year. Oh, my God. I mean, it's just it's going to be just completely hot. And you don't want it really hot because when it's hot like that, it just it just totally sucks. But, um, you know, what can you do about it, though, right? I mean, it's summer. We're here in Florida. Florida is hot by nature. Yes, it is. It's hot by nature. Shout out to everybody that is at the beach today. We're hanging with you, and we're getting ready to talk today about our adventure that we had this week. And we got a chance to go down to the Suwannee River Festival, or actually it's the Suwannee River Gym, uh, which is uh, North Florida. It's between Tallahassee and Jacksonville. Kind of like halfway in between. Um, it's uh, it's easy to find. Um, well, I guess it is if you're from that area. But uh, <laughs> you could very easily get lost. 
just depends on uh, who you talk to and uh, and where you go. But um, so, uh, but we had a chance to go sit and uh, hang out there and get to meet all the artists. Um, let's see, who did we talk with? We had a chance to talk with quite a few of them. Um, we talked with uh, um, uh, Cole Tomlinson. We talked with. Um, Julia Cole, who's going to be the next up and coming, I believe. I totally believe that. Um, I wouldn't say that if I didn't believe it because I totally believe it. Um, I think it's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be awesome because she is awesome. I mean, and she and she's got some great music too. We are on Instagram on the one side. We're on Facebook on the other, and we even got Twitter. We're doing Twitter, people. We got Twitter going. Holy cow, I can't believe it. We actually got Twitter going. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I try not to scream in the microphone. So uh, let's do this here. We're trying to get uh, everything squared away here and ready to go. So um, let's do this here. We have one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, let's try this again. One, two, three. Maybe it's not going to let me copy everything. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to copy here. We're going to stick it there. There we go. We'll do that. And we're going to back up here. Oh, here we go. Copy. And... Oh, copy and... One more time. One more time. Just be patient, people. Be patient. Oh, my God. Hey, guess what we're getting ready to do? Ha ha! In a couple of weeks, we are heading to Daytona because we are covering the country 500. Yes, the country 500. If some of y'all is here in Central Florida has never been to the country 500, you have no idea what you're missing because it's a blast. I mean, it's unbelievable. If you've never been to the country 500... You need to check it out because, um, what can I say? It's just, it's, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> I mean, you got bands. Let's see. We got Toby Keith this year, Dirk Bentley, Chris Stapleton, Sugarland. We got uh, Runaway June. Uh, we've already been confirmed for interviews with Craig Campbell and Colt Ford. They're going to be there. Um, we've got Michael Ray is going to be there. Um, let's see who else is going to be there. Um, oh, 38 Special, 1,000 Horses. They're going to be there, so that's going to be cool, uh, I, you know, I think. But um, what do y'all think? I, I, that's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm back. Can can see everything now. Okay, glad you can see. Hey, Joey, what's up, buddy? Um, Joey's here. Uh, Kalish is here. Everybody's here. But, um, yeah, so this uh, past weekend, we had a chance to um, um, go to the, uh, the uh, Swanee River Jam up in North Florida to sit down and talk with our boys, our good boys, Yes, Mr. Chris and Preston. Um, talk with them. See how things were going. They're actually working on new music constantly. They got a brand new single that just came out. Uh, Don't get better than that. And um, it's an awesome, awesome song. But um, these are uh, my boys. Uh, this is Low Cash. If you haven't seen or heard of Low Cash, you need to check them out. Um, but I got a chance to sit down and talk with them this weekend. So uh, just take a listen. Tell me what you think. WBCW Big Country here, hanging with you at the Swanee River Jam, and guess what? Holy crap! I am sitting here with another uh, other than the boys, Low Cash. What's up, guys? What's going hey. on, man? So, uh, tell me, you guys got a brand new video that just came out from one of your songs. Yes. How's it been going? Uh, it's going great, man. It just came out. It's called "Don't Get Better Than That." Uh, we shot it in. Uh... What, what canyon was that in California? Uh, Topanga. 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 Yep. Topanga, man. Oh, it's beautiful out there. Hippieville. Hippieville. Yeah, there it was go. cool. But it was uh, it was impressive, man. Um, uh, TK is, is our uh, director, and, you know, we just one of those things, the simple things in life. That's what the song's about. It's kind of like I love this life, you know what I mean? But a little bit more tempo to it, and just pick out the best things in life, man. That's, That's what cool. it's about. Just, um, let you know, I've been playing you guys' music for a long time. We're talking about the days of low cash cowboys. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're Thank talking Because I used to DJ in Orlando for the longest time. Okay. I was a club DJ oh, nice. until I started doing radio. But uh, love your music. Thank what? You. Um, let's see. You guys have been doing music for a long time. 
did you guys? When did you guys actually get started together as low cash cowboys? Because I know it was like all of a sudden it was like an overnight thing for you guys, pretty much. Well, I, I guess it was probably back about. Uh, I moved to Nashville in 2002, and Chris and I became, became immediate friends. We worked at the Wild Horses DJs, right? Yeah. And uh, and man, we just got to hanging and talking and starting to write songs together, and we hit the road about 2005, 2006 with. My Jeep Cherokee right. and a stolen U-Haul trailer, there. And, uh, <laughs> I love it. and the rest. Was we didn't history. know it was stolen. We though. didn't steal it, but somebody told us we could use it. But it turned out to and be turned, stolen. Yeah. Right. We you, turned. You know, into, that, you know how that is. <laughs> Where did they finally pick you up at? Uh, Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. We got us. We got all the way to Alabama with it, and uh, yeah. Coming, but, but coming back from a show in Louisiana, and a uh, tire fell off the trailer. Oh. Yeah, but the cops were cool, man. They they well, yeah, weren't that's trying that's up anything. Um. So, um, let's. are you guys back in the studio now working on some new stuff? We just finished our second just album. Finished, yep, if you yeah. just finished the second album. Uh, so we're looking to, maybe in a couple of years, come out with another album, right? Uh, yeah. uh, we're hoping to, but the fall, hopefully fall, you'll see this one yeah. coming out. So. Um, but um, yeah. CMA Fest is coming up. Are you guys heading to CMA Fest? We are. We're going to be on the river stage, and uh, right there on, uh, they put a stage on the water, right there facing downtown oh, Nashville. Cool. And... Uh, we aren't quite into the stadium yet. We're right on the cusp of right. a stadium performance, but uh, we love the River Stage. We love CMA Fest. Everybody comes to town, and uh, you just get so many great shows. Every artist is in town rocking the stages. Believe it or not, my colleague from New York, Sandra D., she'll probably make it there. I've never been to Nashville. Believe what? You I've, haven't I've, been? I've been through Nashville, but I've never actually been there. Used to go snow skiing in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, back in the days when there was only one road in and one road out. Wow. So... One, my, my, our plans are for WBCW Networks is to have a stage on Main Street 2021 come on. and invite everybody to come and play and yeah. just jam out. So that's 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 our goal. That's what we're That's great, for. man. That's cool. But um, um, you guys are here at the Swanee River Jam. You're getting ready to go on stage in the main stage here in a few hours. Tell us what to expect tonight. What kind of music we're going to hear? Everything? Well, you're going gonna to hear all, uh, all our uh, the hits that we sing and the hits we've written for other artists. And then you're going to hear some of the new stuff coming out on the album in the fall. But... Uh, you know, to headline this, this is a festival, our first festival that we're really headlining right now. Really? Yeah. I mean, we've been here at Swanee for a long time, and you know, for eight, nine years, I think right. we've played this. Yeah. And to finally get this slot, when we first started on a Wednesday night during the day, what was it, during the day on a Wednesday, yeah. and to finally get in the headline slot with Josh Turner tonight is, is a... It's a great moment. Well, there's definitely going to be a moment on stage where we just soak it in for a second. There you go. And, uh, and just enjoy that moment. That, it's been a long journey. Yeah. And, uh, and to get up there and headline tonight with all these people who have been at just about every one of our shows here. Right. And uh, so it's been a journey for them, too. It's you guys got a lot of followers that follow you pretty much along the circuit or just whatever city you guys go to. Because I remember back in the days, you used to have people that would just follow the band Everywhere, oh, and anywhere. Yeah. We still got them. You still got them? Yeah, we yeah. still got them. No kidding. They're great, yeah. though, man. You know? Even from the days of low-cash oh, cowboys? Even from uh, the cowboys. Yeah. And they've got all the vintage merchandise. Right. They got you the know? good stuff. Yeah, it's cool to see that stuff once in a while. Cool. Um, so, um, let's see. Um, you guys, you play the guitars, right? Yeah. What else do you guys play besides guitars? I play the piano. Tell, us, play tell piano. us something that you guys play that nobody knows about. Uh, I play piano. That's my main instrument. Right. And uh, once in a while, I get on the drums if I've been drinking enough. <laughs> I, I can't call myself a drummer. Right. But it's fun. It's just fun to get back there and feel what those guys feel when they see the whole band. And it's just a different view. And and I enjoy that. You know? Right. It, yeah. It's fun to see that once in a while. What about you, Chris? I'm just guitar, man. You're just guitar, yeah, man? Yeah, ain't no I can special. play the juice harp. Anybody oh, right. know what the juice harp is? Yeah. yeah. I, you, know, you, you don't know tonight? how many people that, I've, that I have interviewed... That doesn't know what a juice harp is. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. They ain't country then. No, well, I know. And it's it's funny because um, I've, I've busted them. You know, I broke a lot of them over the years, but I can't seem to find any. So I guess I'm going to have to hunt it on. I Google. bought one one day. Did Remember you that? Did. We tried to play And it. I tried so hard, and I just couldn't get it to, to go it's, well. I, 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 growing up, I played uh, saxophone. I had tried to teach myself to play guitar. I'm just not courting. But I can write cheap music. I can read cheap music. I go. can play it on the keyboard, but I just can't play everything. One of these days, maybe I'll get it hooked up. Yeah. But this is great. Uh, it's, it's awesome to be hanging with you guys. Um, uh, real quick, tell us something about you that nobody knows that Ooh. you can actually share. Hmm. Man, uh, I want to be on Family Feud. <laughs> you do. You do. Really? I want to be on Family Feud. You know Family how long Feud. that show's been 
Are we talking about with Steve Harvey? Steve Harvey. Steve, Harvey. Harvey. Steve Harvey. No, Steve awesome. Harvey is the man. Yeah, he he's is. hilarious. And man. when he walks out, I watch it every day. Right. When he walks out, he's like, "I'm your man, Steve Harvey." I'm like, "You are my man. Come on, let's <laughs> go." I get pumped. I got his whole thing memorized. Give me Greg. Give me Chris. Let's get it on. Let's come on. Dude, I'm ready. That's what about you? Man, uh, I don't know, man. What's something crazy about it? Um, I got a man crush on The Rock. Yeah. I love The Rock, man. Yeah. I do, man. I, I watch everything he does. Got every movie and follow him on Instagram. I just think he's a, he's a positive person, man. So He's yeah, a talented yeah, cat. Oh, yeah. He's cool. He just had a baby, too. He did, yeah, yeah. man. Uh, uh, did you see the picture second? of it? Yeah. And he put Kevin, Kevin Hart's head on it. <laughs> yeah. I know. That was that hilarious. Was that was but amazing. That was amazing. Those guys are a trip. I mean, they're great. It's great, especially even music artists. You know, when you get two, when you get two people together, and, and whether it's acting or music, and they just they collaborate and clash so yeah. good together, it's it's funny and it's fun and it just yeah. it's worth. For you two guys, it seemed like it's been that way, you know, because yeah. you guys have been pretty right, much for over friends ten years. For, yeah, you guys have been pretty much grown up together, right? Yeah, basically. I mean, he's a you know godfather and my son. So, yeah, you know, pretty. Well, this close. journey never gets any easier. It doesn't matter how much success you have. There's it's still work and yeah there's, and and there's a 23 hours a day that are tough and there's the hour at night on stage that right. is what we yeah. live for you know so there's the music business part of it and we are the yin and the yang so we get to bounce ideas off of each other instead of off of the wall right. and we get to you know we kind of cheer each other up if it gets a little low sometimes and uh, if you get too high on the horse, they can help bring you down a notch. Right. And uh, we just try to ride that medium level, enjoy the success, but keep working hard every day. And that's the good thing about a duo, I think. Right. Um, give one advice that you give to an up and coming artist. Tell them something that you would probably tell them that you would have done if you'd have known when you first started. Mm -hmm. I think the hardest thing for us to learn, me specifically, was patience. Um, still hard to, right? You know, that's, that's just a hard word to say to oh, me. You know I what I mean? It. It's just a. But in our I'm, line, I'm of work, like a worm on a hot rock. Sometimes I just can't sit still. <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty patient, but in our line of work, there's a line you have to draw between right. patient and just being dumb. Eager, you you, know, you right. have to like, you have to know when to push fight your battles right? a little right. bit. Yeah. And there's times where we push too hard, and yeah. and we need to sit back in in the cut and just wait a second, but. Uh, but perseverance, man. Yeah. I think that's the that's the main key. Perseverance. Yeah. Never giving up. Believe in yourself, man. And uh, don't don't take no for an answer. We didn't take no for an answer. Right. If you truly have people out there like we do, fans that come to your show every day, right. and buy your stuff, that are on you know your Instagram, your Facebook, and they're they just don't leave you. And you see those dedication that dedicated people, then you definitely have some. Some of the best singers in Nashville don't have perseverance, and we've watched them fall to the wayside. Right. And some of the best songwriters. And because they don't stick with it. Right. And uh, so like Chris said, you know, if you have that dream, that's the piece of advice. I mean, stick yeah. with it and, and persevere and get through those tough times because you never know what's waiting at the end right. of the tunnel for well, you. Well, let me get your opinion. FM radio is changing. Yeah, it is. Because, of, inter because of internet and everything. What, do you, what would you give an advice to an artist that's coming up? Because they're actually going through the transition to where they're going to have to start marketing themselves on the internet with downloads and digital and stuff like that because yeah. everything is changing completely. How yeah. would you how would you go about telling somebody what to do or how to help themselves? I think you, you guys I think you got to you got to be open-minded and uh, and go for stay all stay involved with stay everything. Involved. Yeah. Stay involved with FM radio. Stay involved with the internet. You can't And if there's a thing that you don't I remember when streaming started happening I, I'll be honest, I had no idea what the word streaming even right, meant. Right. And I and I needed to sit down one night and just understand it and how it works and some of the analytics of it and uh and that was beneficial to understand where music was kind of going with streaming and movies and yeah. entertainment and it helps i mean it helps to have that fan base man there's a lot of people that got their fan base from the internet kane brown oh yeah, you know what exactly. i mean straight out from youtube you know he's yeah. a great guy we love the guy he's a good yeah. friend but that's how he started so i mean you, you just never know there's yeah. there's definitely other avenues that you can right. take. A lot of them hasn't done success. it the old-fashioned way like right. a lot of artists. And everybody's, like story, <laughs> everybody's story is different. Right. You don't know what's going to click for you. Yeah, what your, your, you know, it, your it, runway it, is different. Everybody's different. You may be the top streaming artist of all time and not on the radio yet. Right. And so streaming is going to help be on the radio for you. Right. you know? Or vice versa. You or may be like Cody favorite. Johnson and have an unsigned artist and, and sell out. Texas Stadium was 68,000 right. people. Right. I mean, it's you know? it's amazing to watch those journeys for each person. Be just slightly different, but yet successful in their own right. 
Okay, real quick. Tell everybody where they can get your um, the new uh, video if they can download it. Uh, tell them where they can get your albums. Tell them how they, everybody can find you. We know you're all over social media, but tell tell everybody. You find us at lowcastmusic.com and uh, Instagram is lowcastmusic, uh, Twitter, all that. You go on like. You find our website, our videos on Vivo, YouTube, CMT, yeah. GAC. Low cash and the rest will pop up. Yeah. You know, you just yeah, type yeah. There's no W in the word low. It's just L-O-C-A-S-H. That's right. And everything or, or will C-O-U-S-H. fall into play. That's right. Come on. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> when I first heard that song, that was awesome because then you got the banjo at the end and just going all Oh, yeah. We had, just I mean, crazy. that was, yeah. that, that was cool. Ape shit's the right word for it. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> it went, boy. It was awesome. Guys, appreciate you Dude, talking right. to me. Thanks, brother. You're awesome. Big appreciate Country it, and Florida Country Radio here. Low cash hanging out here at the Swanee River Jam. Tonight is the night they're going to be on the stage. We're going to check them out. We're going to bring you all the pictures that we can. Make sure you check it out, WBCW Networks. We'll talk to you soon. That was Low Cash right there on the stage Friday night at the Swanee River Jam, hanging with them and talking with a great bunch of guys, Preston and Chris. Uh, Just some cool dudes. Um, I think they're awesome. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's just so cool. But check this out. This is their latest single, that's out right now, brand spanking. Well, it's not too new. It's probably a couple months old now, but um, uh, I like it. It's a cool song. This is called It Don't Get No Better Than That. Check it out right here, WBCW.
WBCW in Florida Country Radio. Hanging with you on a Wednesday. Latest signal from Low Cash. Don't get better than that. I love that song. I mean, these guys, I've known these guys since the days of Low Cash, Cowboys. When they had the uh, the line dancing songs. And uh, what else did they have? Um, uh, the What was the song called? Country. C-O-N-U-T-R-Y. That was a good line dance song. So, um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just uh, they've been around for a while. And uh, they're just now uh, hitting their prime. They were actually the headliner uh, Friday night along with Josh Turner and Easton Corbin. Um, no, no, Friday. Let's see. Friday night, it was them, Josh Turner, and um, uh, Pam Tillis. Pam Tillis was there, too. Um, but, um, of course, they had Alan Jackson there, um, Easton Corbin, Rodney Atkins. I didn't get a chance to talk with them guys. The next artist that we did talk to, though, I think she's an up-and-comer. I think you're really going to like her. And she is awesome. Uh, She's beautiful and talented at the same time. Uh, She hails from Austin, uh, Houston, Texas area, but she lives in Nashville. Uh, Check out her song here, Um, her latest single, and uh, we got it from her album too. This lady right here, Julia Cole, and um, she's, she's got some awesome, awesome, awesome music. Check out this latest song here. This is called Priority. Just falls midnight, good night, cell phone calls. My favorite things that we don't do like we used to. No slow dancing out on the dock, no off days, always on the clock. Boy, more of me needs more of you. Like we used to, we can't do this anymore. I gotta show you, you gotta show me. Can't keep trying to ignore that I'm lonely. Kiss me like. Me back when we were on fire. I'll leave those handwritten love notes on your pillow to find. Somewhere along the way, we stopped making the time to put our love ahead of all the crazy life. But I love you and you love me. Don't you think we should be a priority? Yeah, I love you and you love me. Don't you think we should be a priority? Sick on Friday, anywhere, don't care, let's get away. Rocky Mountain rendezvous, like we used to. Don't need to go some fancy place, just hold me close in your embrace. I promise, babe, that's all it takes. Kiss me like you kiss me back. Just think we should be Brand new from Julia Cole called Priority. It's a nice, beautiful single. She talked about it. Um, She says it's basically um, uh, talks about priority with uh, relationships, Um, um, you know, him and her, um, you know, or, or, you know, them just depend. But um, she talks about it in the interview here. Um, Let's check out her interview and take a listen. Uh, We were there at the Swanee River Jam. Uh, Julie 
Julia Cole. Check it out. WBCW Florida Country Radio. Big Country here hanging with you at the Swanee River Gym. And I'm here with the awesome, the talented, the famous Julia Cole. How you doing, Julia? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell everybody out there in the internet land and radio land that doesn't know who you are. I know who you are because I've already heard good things about you. And I've heard, <laughs> I've heard it coming, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Houston, Texas. I live, Texas? Yes, I live in Nashville now, and I've been on tour, opening for a bunch of awesome acts. Um, tonight's Low Cash, tomorrow I'm with Corey Smith, and I'm opening for Cody Johnson, or um, Kenny Chesney, Carrie Underwood, like the list goes on and on. I've been touring for a long time, so. So how long have you been doing music as a full-time gig? Um, full-time, it's been six years. Six years now. Yeah, well, I guess full-time, full-time, it's been like three, but I've been touring for six. When did you make the transfer from Houston or from Texas to Nashville? Because you know Texas is the hot spot right now. Texas is always Texas. the hot spot. Well, no, it's, hey. it's, it's, it's bad. I know. Like, I'm just kidding. Listen, I we're love not talking bad about Nashville, but Texas right now is actually better than me when it comes to country music. Well, I got friends in both spots, so it's really fun to get to go and do both markets. And, and honestly, if you make good music, it doesn't matter what market you're in, your good music is going to get heard. And, and that's so, the it's point. so much easier to do it now because of the technology. You could write a song in the middle of an island somewhere in Hawaii yes, and just exactly. email it to somebody in Nashville, and you've got a number one hit. You know? How awesome is that? Yeah, I'm telling you. Um, what do you like to do for fun when you're not doing music? I play a lot of volleyball. I can tell by the six-foot train, you know? I play a lot of volleyball. I run. Um, I love going out and dancing and hanging with my friends. Um, I read a lot. And I write. I write a lot of poetry, write a lot of songs, and then I'll just, I'll just jam in my free time, too. Where does the influence that you get from your music when you're writing music? Where is it coming from? Um, honestly... From all the different music that I've heard, I have a lot of different genres influence in my music. Um, so I'm from Houston, which has a lot of r and the Texas country, it's got everything. But when it comes to what the content is, um, it's so funny, if, you like, if you've like, if you known my music, it's come in chapters. And as I've grown up and gone through different life experiences, relationships, and things like that, the music's just gotten better and better because I have real shit to write about. Real stuff to write about. We're not going to bleep that out. Right here on WBC. My bad. So your music is not necessarily about relationships and stuff like that, but of course you learned a lot growing up. What would you say what would you say your best experience so far in the music industry has been? I think what's really cool is in Nashville and seeing how attainable your dreams really are because I'll sit down in a publishing house and they'll be like you know Carrie Underwood wrote her first hit sitting on the floor right where you are right. or you'll walk in Starbucks and Taylor Swift walks in it's just like you're in this place where you watch people's dreams come true like I, I watch my friends like all climbing the ladder and it's cool because we're all coming up together and it really is just this community and then when I've been on tour with different people like Hunter Hayes or the Eli Young Band, like they'll bring me on their bus and they'll talk to me about what some of the things were that they did when they were coming up and how how things helped them and how people helped them and just you know, like everyone has a different story and it's just really inspirational to get to hear it. Now you sent us your latest single. Tell everybody about the single that you sent us. Priority. Yes. yes. Okay. So priority is a song about making your relationship the top of the list even when you have 10 million things going on in life because you know anyone who's been in a long relationship understands that you kind of stop putting the emphasis on being as sweet or as uh, catering as much to each other when you have so much going on and you've been together for so long it's just not quite as the honeymoon stage is over if you will and this song is just a reminder but I love you and you love me. Don't you think we should be a priority? And and it's just, um, I mean, I've had people send me messages that they listen to the song and they played it for their, their spouse and it saved their marriage because they finally understood what the other person was trying to tell them. It's been crazy how much I've just, like, kind of seen it affect people. And 
um, and I wrote it from from experience. You know, it's it's something you kind of have to go through to really understand. So it's actually Yeah, it's uh, it's currently um, I'm featured as CMT's next artist discovery, and which is crazy. Um, and so the video that just released last week on there is already number eleven, and we'll find out tomorrow if it's jumped. You do realize that you are in the top 20 countdown now since your song is hit WBCW Network. Really? You will be in the top 20 countdown now. So Ooh, that means, that yes! means all your fans is going to have to start voting for you. Oh my gosh. Because you as Florida Country Radio's female entertainer of the year. Holy so, smokes. Now, hey, did I not say you were going to be big? I said you were going to be big. Guys, be big. Uh, I'm going to pass out. I can't. What? <laughs> what <do you> <laughs> Expecting some high energy, some kick beep music, and just some real lyrics. I mean, some real honesty that I'm so excited to get to share some of this new music. I'm playing a lot off of the project that I just released, but I'm throwing in a few new songs too that are that are in the pipeline to come out in the next couple months, and I'm really excited about them. Now you've got some new music coming out too. You're also working in the studio too, right? Oh, tons. Yeah, I'm in the studio every day that I'm not on the road touring. Tell everybody where they can find your music, how they can get it, and tell them where to go, all your social media sites, all on your own. Well, I, I have to say that my website's got everything. It's the one-stop shop, juliacolemusic.com, but I'm on everything. Um, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Julia Cole Music. And um, as of yesterday, I officially have a Vivo YouTube channel, which is so cool. I know, like, no one, I don't even know like how the distinction is made, but I have this brand new Vivo channel. But the only thing about starting this new channel is like now I have to start over with subscribers. But it's so cool though. You realize you've got fifty some thousand followers on Instagram. I know, I know. I'm gonna have to go tell them, hey guys, love you. Go to my YouTube, please. Go to Vivo. Well, listen, um, it's great to uh, talk with you. We're gonna uh, let you get up on our stage here in a couple hours. We're gonna listen to you. We're gonna talk to you a little bit more as we go through the months as your new music comes out. Because, like I said, when you keep in touch with me, you're gonna be on the top twenty countdown. We're gonna see how you do. I think you're gonna do good. Matter of fact, I would say if I was a betting man, I would say you probably will be this year's female entertainer of the year. Oh my just, gosh! Just Knock on wood. Where's wood? Right, right. These are plastic tips. Oh my gosh! But I'm about to go it. find a tree as soon as this interview's done. It's been so nice talking to you. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Make sure you go check her music out. Find her on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Julia Cole, everybody. This is Big Country here at the Swanee River Gym, WBCW Networks. We will see you on the air. Bye. WBCW Florida Country Radio hanging with you on a Wednesday afternoon. Nice and warm outside. Julia uh, Cole, Julia Cole is uh, the one that we just got done interviewing. She was up at the Swanee River Jam this past weekend with us hanging. And um, I think she's going to be awesome. I really do. Um, she's already got something like 60,000 followers on Twitter. But um, this is her latest album or EP right here. We'll show everybody on Facebook and Twitter. Um She's got uh, eight songs on here. It's called the Priority Acoustic Mixtape. And uh, you got Priority, which is the latest single. Uh, Kiss Me Again, Adjust, Get Gone, Heaven's Right Here, You're Just Mad. Uh, Mixtape. And then uh, number eight is a bonus track, uh, Be Someone. Uh, it's uh, for the uh, Houston flood relief that they had uh, back last year for... Um, um, during the hurricane, um, but um, it was also this. Um, this was also dedicated to uh, uh, Lori White Cannon. So, uh, but uh, check it out. Make sure you go grab it, um, download it on Spotify. Um, uh, I think Apple, iTunes. Um, you can also order it uh, at uh, www.juliacolemusic.com. Uh, you can check it out and uh, get that. Song. We're going to take a short break real quick. When we come back, we're going to be talking with our third and final artist who hails from Georgia in the backwoods. His name is Mr. Cole Tomlinson. We're going to be talking to him shortly, so hang tight. Don't go nowhere. Don't waste your life behind negative. 
guitar You may get gone But you won't get far You're not the first You won't be the last And you can tell us all about it When you come crawling back That road you're on Just winds and winds You're spinning your wheels You're wasting your time But when the lights come up And I hear the band And where they said I'd never be Is exactly where I am I hear the crowd I look around And I can't find an empty chair Not bad for a girl going nowhere Get these calls out on the road. I heard your song on my radio. We always said you'd make it big, and I tell all my friends I knew you back when. So don't forget all us little folks. And when you crash and burn. Remember we told you so And then the lights come up And I hear the band And where they said I'd never be Is exactly where I am I hear the crowd I look around And I can't find one empty chair Not bad for a girl going overcome by the spring break spirit with me dj sandra d whether it's spring break or not tune in every friday from 11 a.m to 1 p.m on your sweepy show what's up baby spring break into your weekend with entertainment news throwbacks today's jams ticket giveaways interviews with the hottest artists and much more don't forget to make up not break up with one of the hottest shows on owwr and tune in every friday from 11 a.m to 1 p.m only on old westbury web radio spring break up, baby bye Imagine if I told you that an earthquake was going to hit tomorrow right where you live. That it would be 6.5 in magnitude with aftershocks occurring twice 25 minutes apart. You'd no doubt talk with your loved ones and you'd make a plan today. It's true. I can't tell you an earthquake will happen tomorrow. But what if it does? Shouldn't you have a plan? Go to ready.gov slash communicate and make your emergency plan today. Don't wait. Communicate. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Hey, y'all, I'm Blake Shelton. I love that country music connects people all over this great nation, but unfortunately, so does something else. Childhood hunger. 15 million children struggle with hunger in America. That's why the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks works to rescue our surplus food to help provide billions of meals to families in need across the country. Join the fight against hunger at feedingamerica.org. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. WBCW Florida Country Radio coming to you from Orlando, where it's nice and warm outside today. Oh, my God. I mean, it's just like, why is it so hot? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why is it so stinking hot outside? Can somebody tell me why it's so hot outside? Of course, I know it's Florida, but that's still beside the point, right? 
<laughs> I mean, Florida is always hot, but, you know, there's nothing you can do about it because we live in Florida. Um, so let's see. What's some of the uh, latest in the news here real quick? We'll talk some news uh, here for a second. Um, we got some big things happening. Oh, American Idol still going on. The finals are uh, coming close. I think the, the top five are actually going to um, Nashville to work with um, country music superstar Carrie Underwood. So they're going to be hanging out with her uh, next week or two uh, and um, uh, working with her and uh, doing some music together and stuff like that. Um, so that's going to be uh, cool. Uh, the Florida Music Festival is happening um, this uh, week. What's up, Chris? Um, it's happening this week, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We're going to be out to Cheyenne Saloon in Orlando. We got um, uh, Carly Joe uh, is on Wednesday. Uh, we also have on Wednesday is, um, um, I want to say, uh, I think it's Maggie Baugh. Maggie Baugh is on Wednesday, or uh, not Wednesday, but Thursday. Um, Carly Joe's on Thursday. Maggie Baugh's on Thursday. Uh, Cat Ridgeway, no. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm tongue-tied. What can I say? Thursday is Carly Joe. Friday is Cat Ridgeway, our other artist. And Saturday is Maggie Baugh and Mackenzie Carey. So, um, yeah, I got that right. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, to submit their music to you. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. Any chance you want to submit music to us, send it to actionworksmusic at gmail.com. Our production um, department will get that and uh, take care of that for you. But, um, yeah, um, check it out. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, so we're going to be at the Florida Music Festival this week. And then two weeks later, we're turning around and heading to Daytona Beach. We're going to the uh, Daytona International Speedway for the second annual Country 500. We got a lot of artists that we're going to be interviewing. Toby Keith. Dirk Bentley, Sugarland, uh, 1,000 Horses, 38 Special is going to be there. Michael Ray is going to be there. Colt Ford, Craig Campbell. We got tons of people that's going to be there. Um, so um, and it's and it's a big swing ding. Um, so it's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be a little bit warm, uh, but uh, I think uh, it it's going to be uh, it's going to be an awesome time. It's going to be um, a great. Um, uh, um, a great uh, adventure. Uh, how, what can I say about uh, Swanee River? Swanee River is kind of cool because if you've ever been out to the Swanee River Jam, um, they have lots and lots of trees. And, uh, of course, everybody knows uh, trees are good for shade. <laughs> so it actually was not that hot out there at the Swanee River because uh, because of the uh, uh, the shade that was out there. So it was actually uh, pretty good. Uh, I liked it. Um, it was a great venue, but um, uh, definitely be back uh, next year to uh, uh, do some more stuff uh, with them. Uh, make sure you share this on Facebook, uh, share it on Instagram, Twitter, all of them. We're uh, rocking the Instagram Live right now and Facebook Live. You can also find everything on our Mixcloud page at mixcloud.com forward slash Florida underscore country underscore radio. That's everything on demand. And check out our website, wbcwradio.com, for music 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our third and final artist that we got a chance to talk to this gentleman is from the woods of georgia just outside of valdosta georgia and he's a good old country boy uh making his way up the uh, ladder and uh and uh doing shows and festivals but uh this is mr um cole tomlinson he's got a brand new single out it's called dirt road princess check it out and then we're going to hear his interview right here at wbcw
Oh, yeah, Mr. Cole Tomlinson there for you, hanging with you today on WBCW, Florida Country Radio Networks, here in Orlando, Florida. I think we got to, let's try here and see if we got uh, the Twitter back up. I think we got Twitter going. We just need to get some people to it, so um, that's all. But uh, we are broadcasting live now on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, so we're just just hanging with you, you know, and uh, doing our thing. But uh, we've talked to Low Cash already. We've talked to um, um, uh, Julia Cole. Now we're going to hear our interview with Mr. Cole Tomlinson, uh, the third gentleman that is an up-and-coming artist. Um, he plays all over the East Coast. Uh, he hails from just outside of Valdosta, Georgia. Um, take a look and listen to Mr. Cole Tomlinson right here. WBCW Florida Country Radio, Big Country coming live from the Suwannee River Jam. And we are sitting here talking with our good friend, Mr. Cole Tomlinson. How you doing, sir? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Well, we're, we're just hanging out today. Tell us what to expect from you today on stage here at the Suwannee River Jam. Well, today at the Suwannee River Jam, we're going to be putting on a great show here. Uh, I'm hoping for everyone to come out and just have a good time. We're going to we're playing anything from Merle Haggard to Luke Combs. Y'all come in here. Now, you got a brand new song that was just dropped in March called Dirt Road Princess. How's that going for you? It's going pretty well. Uh, it's up on iTunes, Amazon. It's on most platforms you can find online. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping it'll do a lot better. Now, where are you guys originally from? You're from, I'd say, north of Florida, but you're up in Georgia area, right? Yes, yeah, so we're from Blackshear, Georgia, close to the Way Cross. Uh, I was born down in South Florida, down in the Fort Myers area. If, uh, when did you get started in music? I've been playing music with my daddy in churches since I was three years old, but I started playing country music about since I was 12, just doing fairs and festivals such as uh, Swanee River Jam. What do you got coming up after the Swanee River Jam? Now, you're going to be out here today, and then they also got uh, acts and uh, artists uh, tomorrow, but where do you go from here after the Swanee River Jam? Well, uh, in June, they're doing a CMA Fest up in nashville tennessee we're going up for that and i'm doing a few showcases there in front of some big name artists what um now you pretty much stay around georgia or do you 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 i'm sure you venture over here into florida being so close to the to the florida border um where can people find you around here uh as far as in georgia or florida well i pretty much run the east coast we go up to nashville to south florida um i play a lot of restaurants and bars well i mean if i can get into any festivals or fairs i do it I just love to play music. Now, do we know exactly when your new EP is going to be coming out this year? Not yet. Uh, Y'all keep an eye out for it, though. It's coming. Tell everybody where they can find your music at and how they can get in touch with you. You can find my song, Dirt Road Princess, on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, YouTube. And they can get in touch touch with me through Facebook and uh, my website, www.coltomlinson.com. We are here at the Suwannee River Jam, hanging with Mr. Cole Tomlinson, a brand new up-and-coming country artist here at the Suwannee River Jam. Make sure you come out and check it out here today up in Live Oak, Florida. I'm Big Country. We will see you on the air. WBCW Florida Country Radio, hanging with you today on a Wednesday. Talking with Cole Tomlinson right here we're going to uh throw some music at you now give you an idea of who's going to be on the top 20 countdown some of these artists are going to be there so check them out here we're going to play some music for you this is abby and the song is called a day without right here wbcw Oh, hey. 
WBCW right here, Florida Country Radio, hanging with you. Here's our next artist that we're going to be on the top 20 countdown. Her name is Amy Ray. She was actually at the Swanee River Gym on Wednesday night. We didn't get a chance to uh, catch up with her, but uh, her latest single is called Georgia Rain. Remember, these all are going to be on the top 20 countdown, so pay attention. WBCW of Florida Country Radio hanging here with you on a Wednesday afternoon. Oh, yeah. So I got uh, something to uh, talk about here real quick and uh, see what y'all think. But um, um, I was thinking that um, um, since they got this new um, platform out now with the uh, video camera where it can actually stream to like seven or eight different platforms at one time, which is kind of cool if you ask me. But how are they going to get by with? All the the uh, the regulations and this and that and stuff like that for um, 
you know, that they have to deal with with Facebook and Twitter and all that crap, um, you know, without them taking it down. Facebook's policy now says that they can't, they will take down any kind of home video that is played on Facebook with music in the background. Okay, so what is considered home video? I mean, everything now pretty much is a homemade video, right? You know, I mean, uh, do you got to tell them, okay, well, I'm shooting a professional video. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think I think it's just going to be a mess. I think uh, just, you know, people, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, just let people do, uh, let them let them play the videos. Let them post the videos. Let them play the music on there to a certain extent. As long as it's not vulgar, it's not rated X, you know, stuff like that. Come on. You know what we're talking about here. Just let them do it. Here's another group that's going to be on the top 20 countdown. Their latest single, Field of Gold. This is the Holler Boys. Check them out right here at WBCW. Watching it grow It's been a long day Dust till dawn A cell phone rings Daddy, when you coming home? When you coming home? He's seven feet tall Picking in a fall 35 years The kids barely call He's trying to beat the cold He's getting too old He can't stop now Got three fields to go He's been planting them fields Watching them grow He's been working real hard Watching them grow He's been working real hard For that field to go Kids are all home Smile on his face His last day Daddy's gone home To his field of gold He's planted his seeds He's been harvested home He's been planting their fields Watching them grow He's been working real hard On them low Watching them grow He's been working real hard For that field to go Like his daddy taught him when he was eight years old. He's been planting them fields, watching them grow. Been working real hard on them loads. He's been planting them fields, 
WBCW of Florida Country Radio hanging with you on a Wednesday. Here is another artist that is going to be on the top 20 countdown. He's actually a local boy. His name is Johnny Reed Foley. This is called Hillbilly Rockstar. Jack and too much gin. My head's still pounding like a big bass drum. I reach no four and ask them, but they're already gone. Another crazy night in this cowboy's life. Cause I do what I want to do, what I please. And all the bartenders that can drink for free, everybody knows the name. And to me, you know it's just a game Well, I get on stage and give the fans my heart Singing every night at a local bar Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard It's a day in the life of a hillbilly rock star Cause I love my fans But if you don't like me Well I don't give a damn It ain't hard to see Why people wanna live like me It's cause I do what I wanna do What I please And all the bartenders let me drink for free Everybody knows my name And to me it knows just a game Well I get on stage And give the fans my heart Got a country swagger, keep the music turned up and got blues like Haggard. You can find us hanging out every night. It's a little bucked up, but we're all alright. Don't hurt the dream. Hey, let me hear you sing that I do what I want to do, what I please. And all the bartenders let me drink for free. Everybody knows my name, and me, you know it's just a game. Well, I get on stage and give the fans my heart. Thanks to them, I'm a big old star Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard It's a day in the life of a hillbilly rock star Hillbilly rock star WBCW of Florida Country Radio. Just a little bit of taste of who you're going to see and hear from on the top 20 countdown. What's up, Lawrence? Just saying, hey, let's uh, let's see. We got uh, time for uh, a couple more here. Let's throw in some more music that you're going to hear on the top 20 countdown. Do-do-do-do. Let's see. Who do we got that's going to be playing on the top 20 countdown? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, here is here's our good friend that we're going to be talking to here soon. Her name is Dallas Remington, and uh, actually DJ Sandra D got a chance to interview her, her recently, the last couple of weeks. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, this is called "Never Turn Around." It's her brand new single. Check it out right here at WBCW.
WBCW Florida Country Radio hanging with you here. Oh, it's nice and hot outside. Oh, my God. Here's Brianna James, and this is uh, her latest uh, single that's also going to be on the top. I'm telling you, people, the Top 20 Countdown is going to have tons of brand new artists. We're talking over 90 brand new artists on the Top 20 Countdown, so you got to make sure you tell everybody because the voting is going to be happening here in a few weeks, so make sure you stay on point with it. Check it out. Brianna James, the song was called Hot. It's got a little attitude to it right here at WBCW. Got a boombox that's sitting on a hood of a hand-me-down rag top. He beating down both of our backs and I'm watching the sled drop. From my day in baseball cap and my one thought is your oh so Your mama 
much and I'm too caught up Too caught up on you, it's too hard to listen when you're talking like this Moving your lips, I don't wanna pay attention but I also wanna kiss Yeah, the only thing that's hot right there, Brianna James, that's going to be on your, she's going to be on your top 20 countdown, so make sure you check her out too. Let's see, who else, who else we got that's going to be on the top 20 countdown? Give you a little bit of taste of uh, what to expect. Um, let's see here. Hold on. Let's find somebody here. la da 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 um, uh, Let's see. do 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 um, Of course, we got, um, um, let's see. Who do we got here? Oh, here's another local. Her name is Amanda Marie, and this song is called You Can't Lose Something You Never Had. Check it out right here at WBCW. Mm -hmm.
WBCW Florida Country Radio hanging with you here in Orlando. We want to thank everybody for joining us today here on the show. Make sure you check us out, WBCWRadio.com, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, music. Also, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all that good stuff. Definitely. Um, but uh, we got the uh, Florida Music Festival this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, so make sure you check that out. We're going to be hanging with uh, Bailey Callahan, um, Maggie Baugh. We got uh, Mackenzie Carey and um, Carly Joe. So uh, make sure you come and check it out. Um, it's going to be a blast. Uh, I think you'll like it. Um, but, uh, yeah, make sure you check it out. Also, we got the Country 500 coming up here. And um, what, two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. So. That's another big thing that we got going on. DJ Sander D is coming down here to actually work with us again this year and check it out and get us all squared away. So um, it's going to be three days of non nonstop action. It's going to be packed. We're going to be busy. Um, you know, it's 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 just it's just going to be crazy. And then the summer kicks in. So, um, but um, uh, look for us to, to be doing a lot of stuff next year. We've gotten a lot of uh, uh, contacts and uh, networking and compliments. Congratulations to all of our artists that uh, was at the uh, the uh, Nashville Universe Awards last night. Uh, that won. I know Darren Morris man won. I know two Steel Girls. They also won. So uh, congratulations uh, to them too. But. Uh, so in the meantime, we want to thank uh, Low Cash and Julia Cole and Cole Tomlinson for their interviews with us this weekend. We loved it, and um, uh, thanks to uh, everybody out at the uh, the Country Jam, and um, definitely, uh, you know, um, we want to thank them and uh, thanks for their hospitality and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, so we're gonna send you out here with a good song and we're going to see you next time here on the air and don't forget the top 20 countdown is starting soon hang tight stay safe have a great week bye i'm sorry but i'm just a girl not usually Kind of show my heart to the world I'm pretty good At keeping it together I hold my composure For worse or for better So I apologize If you don't like what you see But sometimes my emotions Get the best of me And falling apart is as human as it gets You can't hide it You can't fight But the truth is You can't bear me lie And say it's okay You can't bear me smile And just walk away It up. You may soar on stones, it don't matter if you're in a crowd or home or alone. Yeah, it's all the same when you're looking in the mirror. A picture, a picture.